Euh, start ça, man. Start ça, mets-moi dans l'ambiance. OK. <rire> Welcome to Naked. Uh, we're Phil and Matt, and it's the first episode. I'm here with Matt, and um, we decided to do uh, basically the conception of Naked inside an episode instead of preparing it before and talking to you about it. So, Matt, um, what is Naked? Oh, it's me who answered that question. All right. Well, Naked is a podcast about being ourselves with no bullshit. And as little editing as possible. And that's what we intend to do. We are starters. We, we're starting this podcast. We just fell in love with the name and uh, we think it's really, really gonna make good, good uh, content. And so let me ask that question to you, Phil. Who is uh, that cast for? Uh, that podcast is uh, for everyone. Uh, I think since you talk about authenticity, it's uh, it's fair to say and uh, um, be open with everyone. We found the name only yesterday and we thought about it during the week. Uh, and uh, we wanted to, both of us, to make it accessible to anyone. Um, the subject we're going to touch, I think, will be about everything. We don't know the subject yet. Um, that's the subject of the first episode and the second one we don't know yet and we'll define it at the beginning of each episode. So I guess um, the best will be uh, to explain that for you to say um, what are you interested about and why are you starting this podcast? Me? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm interested about philosophy. I'm interested about the world, the brain. Um, the reality, friendship, relationships, um, how the world evolves, where we are, what's going on, our internal world, uh, and all all that jazz. And uh, you may you may be wondering now, after uh, a couple of minutes, about our funny accent. Well, let let us uh, tell you that we are two uh, French native guys. I'm from Quebec, and he's. Phil is from France, uh, Belgium. Yeah. Belgium. France, no, no, France. Right, yeah. France. Yeah, 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 France. No, France. <laughs> I don't know why I always think you're from Belgium. <laughs> you don't like French people. It's, it's people from Quebec. They don't like French people. That's why. Yeah, yeah. I, I hate, I hate French people. <laughs> that's why I do a podcast with one. <laughs> I just, I just want to debate with you on all the subjects. No, uh, what's what's really going on in, is that uh, the truth, uh, because we're gonna always, because we we are all uh, human, right? We're, we're our our aim is to be the most naked that we can, which means the most authentic, less less uh, bullshit possible, less editing, all all that. But also, we are always gonna try to come back to the truth and the authenticity, which uh, if we talk about what's um, what happened that we t started this podcast is that uh, a friend of mine uh, asked me if I wanted to do a podcast with him last week and then I answered yes for some reason and I started to record the first episode with him in French in Quebec and then I thought about Phil because we we've been talking we, we've known for a lot of years now like almost 10 years uh, yeah almost, almost yeah me. And um, we've talked a lot of time about doing a podcast together and we were pretty, we were probably not there yet. We were procrastinating on that subject. Maybe fear were, uh, were holding us from doing it. So I just thought about him right after and I said, and I messaged him and I said, hey, Phil, what about we stop being pussies and we just uh, record finally a podcast. So let's do it tomorrow. So that you was know, last you know, not, you know, I'm not doing any edit on the on the thing, so I'm not gonna beep that. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I don't want you to. There's no editing, it's gonna be rated as uh, perfect mature or I don't know why, but I don't know what, but yeah, explicit. Yeah, I think it's explicit. Uh, because it's real. I mean people cuss uh, in their own life, and so why would would uh, would we not Cuss. and this is just not for kids if you don't want kids to listen to that just remove them from that and put them in front of the, of the tv um so yeah just coming back to that we recorded the first episode last week on meditation which was 
super amazing. I really, really loved it. And then we were both super thrilled, super uh, uh, pumped after that. And then we listened to it and the audio was shit. Terrible. So, terrible. <laughs> because, terrible. It was terrible. terrible. <laughs> so <laughs> we, uh, we both uh, ordered, uh, each of one of us, we ordered a mic because we found uh, that that was probably the most uh, yeah, important people watching thing the have. video they can see me with my mic right now which looks like a crooner <laughs> yeah so phil is uh where you are in barcelona right now so yep. he received it he received it uh, sooner than me i'm in mexico and things are a bit uh, latino tiempo uh, here so i i probably get mine in in a week but we still uh, my audio is better so we're still gonna decided to record today so here we are in the making of the trailer or the first episode explaining what is our show. Um, so what, what do you want to add to that? Uh, what is naked for you, uh, Phil? Yeah, I, I think, I think um, you know, the podcast in itself, I, I want to explain first something. Um, you have to know that Mathieu called him Jesus. It's his uh, nickname to me. <laughs> uh, for the people that watch the video, they understand why. There is a resemblance uh, already from the look like, from the people know, you know, like the long hair, the beard, um, he's meditating and everything, you know, he's like, he's like a, um, my, my personal uh, monk or Buddha, if you want. And um, each time I have something to talk about and it's more uh, philosophical about where, it, where it's going in life um, and what I've been working on on myself, the first one I want to talk to. And each time we are spending one, two hours talking about a subject, talking, exchanging about what we feel. And um, we, are, we have always big laugh because we're not, uh, we have no filters. Uh, which is a funny part. And um, starting with podcasts was, um, it took time, but I think that, as you said, you know, we needed some time to start it and we decided to start it. And Naked for me is about giving to people the experience that we had in life, what we have been thinking about. Uh, maybe not a lot of people have time to think about different questions, you know, why we're here or uh, I don't know, stopping pro procrastinating or starting a, a startup or uh, doing your own passion and how to follow your passion, even if you have like responsibilities. And I think that, um, you know, for our experience and for the travels we have done and the people we have seen it could be useful for other people. And maybe it won't be not. Uh, but uh, if it starts just to change one person, I will be happy about it. So yeah. that's, that's yeah, what is naked for me. Ah, that's so, so um, uh, moving. That's moving. I, I love it. And yes, uh, I really love to have conversation with you. And I think uh, I want to do this podcast with you because you're my best uh, student. Uh, you're, uh, I'm, I'm becoming a guru now uh, and uh, a Jesus guru. So I think uh, I need to have some followers. So here you are, my best, my best follower. <laughs> And uh, no, I'm, I'm joking, but it's seriously, this um, this podcast for me is all is really what naked is for me is you you know like all everywhere you look around today on the internet and everywhere you see it's always fake. It's always here's the ten step to be the most happy you've never been, and here's like buy this product and everything's gonna be alright in your life and. And if you follow more, your passion, you will be rich. Yeah, exactly. One, so the more, the more time goes by, the more and more bullshit there is, the more and more fake there is. And it's only people wanting to make money out of you. And for me, that's, uh, I never, I never liked that. I, I've seen that a lot and I never liked it. Uh, it's not, it's not that we're not dreaming that this podcast is going to be listened to a lot and that we're, we're finding a nice way aligned with our values to have a living out of it. The point is just do, uh, saying that the truth, stop editing the real life. I want the real life to be lived through this discussion about anything. It's like two guys in a pub. We meet in a pub and then we just have a beer and we talk, but we are a philosopher uh, and, and we like to go deep into things and we are authentic guys and we just talk about the, the truth. We, we, we mostly want to bring the naked self, the, the, 
the last, the center of the onion where, where everyone can relate because everyone in their life want, want to express themselves, want to say things, but they have all these filters and masks. And I think what I've, my experience with authenticity is that it's counterintuitive. When you first want to express yourself on something, you fear that you're going to be rejected or you fear that you're going to have a backlash at you. But what really happens is the more authentic you are, you create a space where other people come at you at an authentic level also. So that's exactly what I want. I want to be authentic, talk about funny things, have fun on the podcast, but being truth naked, uh, less editing possible. I've laughed, I've cussed as, as everything that's real and that people can relate and just get get our their question to us and get they get their experience to us and just we build some discussion around it and yeah that's i mean i'm totally going too long on that but that's uh that's what it is for me and i'm really really happy to start that uh, with you my friend yeah but you said something really interesting like i i'm, I'm staying stuck on what you say as usual uh, <laughs> and it makes me think um you say about attracting <laughs> people and i guess I guess what will be good to explain like to attracting people is the kind of energy that you have. Um, and, and I know there is something that we don't have the time to talk about it right now. Like you wrote a book and you wrote also this beautiful post on Facebook about uh, the days inside us and the energy that we have inside us. Uh, I think it will be good if you can explain that and this thing about attracting the right energy and creating the right energy for you also and the effect, you know, that it has on your life. Right now? Yeah, okay. but, but slowly, because I think it would be an episode on itself. But just to explain a little bit yeah, about, yeah. you know, the authenticity okay. that you were talking about and attracting the right people. I know I'm going yeah. along, but still, you know, we are doing that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, but, no, no, but, but a small version. That, that's always going to be like that, because our plan for that show is to find the subject five minutes before starting, and we just launch our discussion on that because if you go and you meet uh, your friend in a pub you're you're not calling your friend before hey man uh what are we going to talk at the pub can i get prepared a bit and then okay let's meet in uh, 30 minutes and i'll just make some research make sure that i have something nice to say but no that's fucking bullshit like <laughs> you just go to the pub grab a beer and then start a discussion and at the end of the night you're both uplifted amazed and you had like such a illumination or like learnings and that's what we want to bring on the show but on a recorded podcast so to come back to your question i strongly believe that you create your own reality um, and what i what it means for me is that you sh it's more that you shape your own reality because it's already there there's already a, a, a universal reality that's here but you can ban you can a track in your life what you what you want or what at least what you uh vibrate let, let's say that um so by being the more or, or the most truthful the most naked we can be and have the best <laughs> english language that we can have uh it's it's gonna i know it's gonna attract uh, people that are either like us or that are in the search of revealing their true self to themselves because that's what we want that's what we are we are beings on a quest to know who the fuck we are and to live that truth so when you hear someone being talking about his truth it just make resonate your truth inside of you that want to go out and pierce all the layers of fears of bullshit of whatever and just be true and that's exactly that's that that's what i'm all about that's that's the short version and my goal is not to attract people my goal is to have fun with you and to just be real and not even think about attracting people because that's not my goal. My goal is to be myself and evolve through that podcast, which is the first I make ever and which I, I just smash through my fears 
of being public and speaking and having my words, my thoughts being out there, which I know that's my truth. And the more I do it, the best I feel. And I can talk for hours and hours without any notes, any script. And I have fun and I, it flows. Like when, when you're in the flow, you know that you're in a good place and I'm flowing and I just want to flow more. So that's my aim with that. But Naked is uh, the perfect platform for that. Uh, we, we both really uh, got hooked on the name. I think it's a, uh, it's funny, it's uh, provocative, it's curious, and uh, we got, we plan on having people later on on the show and having them naked. If they about, want to come, if they want, if they want to come. Oh, we're two yeah, French guys, guys. not sure. We're two French guys, it's not sure. <laughs> yeah, two French immature guy having mature discussions. And um, the, on this, if, if you want, do you, do you have something else to, uh, to a um, or a million listeners? Yeah. yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think Naked for me, um, it's about showing your true self, as you said. And, you know, I said to you that one time is that the more you know yourself, the more, the more powerful you are. And I think that there is nothing, uh, I said that, when I said that sentence, I thought that I was really wise, but um, maybe not when it's repeated. Um, is that the more you know yourself, someone that knows himself really well, know himself or herself or itself, whatever you choose, um, is someone that is really dangerous because they start to not care about what it's around necessarily, about the influence and everything because they know who they are. And I think most of the people right now don't feel in their place because they're not truthful and they have this voice inside them, but they're saying, it's not you, it's not you, it's not you. And we went through that path together. Um, we talked a lot about it. And I hope that uh, this show uh, can, can help also some people in those questions. Um, so yeah, mm. so that's, I think, our first uh, uh, attempt to, to help you with that subject. Man, man, it really made me think of something amazing and uh... It's like giving our inner voice a voice, a true voice, because it's all we, we never listen. Like we not never, but most of the time we are rational, just put that voice down. But your inner voice is always talking, always saying who you are, the truth that you are, always saying to you, that's the good decision. That's the bad decision. It's just our capacity to listen to it and to remove the bullshit. Um, yeah, and, and I think, and I think that could made... be that could be the subject of our next episode. I think. Yeah, yeah, Just exactly. That. That's uh, or like think, something think like the the tagline, like naked, giving your inner voice a voice, something exactly. like that. Or like we're just so anyway, we're just brainstorming. I, I have a I have one concept I want to put uh, also here. Go for it. Go for it. I th I think we we're gonna introduce a, a quote of the day. Like the only thing. Or maybe let's let's say while we record the episode, if we have a quote a quote that come in mind, at the end of the episode we just bring the quote of the day concept and we just say me or you a quote that made through the discussion we think about one and we just keep it until the end, or something like that. We're just in the opening, or I would like that because it made your quote made me think of one quote which I really love and it's really, really a big part of my life for years. It was my banner on Facebook for many years and it's from Clint, Clint Eastwood and uh, I hope I'm going to say it well. It's um, respect your efforts, respect yourself. Self-respect leads to self-discipline. When you have both firmly under your belt, that's real power. And it's funny because I just had a big chill just just saying it and, <laughs> and that's that's all it that's what it's all about i want people to to get chills on the show and to feel they they, they should be themselves more and and if we can inspire people to be naked and to have fun because when if you think about it when do you have a lot of fun in your life when you're naked and you're doing some nice you're things talking about right? something else <laughs> so so, so let's shower. just bring yes. that concept. Yes. Yeah, yes. the shower, shower. Yeah. 
Exactly. The shower is amazing. It's an amazing <laughs> feeling. So let's just <laughs> let's just bring that concept into uh, into discussion and into realness. And uh, yeah. So Matt, I think that's uh, enough for uh, uh, making of episode. Maybe I should tell people who I am, or uh... yeah. So um, just uh, just uh, for people to know who you are in a, in in one or two sentence. Who is Mathieu? Hey boy, one or two sentence. Um, Matt is uh, from Quebec, a little uh, north coast village, and Matt is. Um, a lover of life, a lover of love, and a seeker of truth. And I would say that my personal, most powerful mantra, and, it, and, and all my personality is built over that, is that I'm always amazed, but never surprised. And it's about life. That's good. Never, never, mm, always surprised. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's a little teaser about me. If you want to know more, well, just come and listen. <laughs> and uh, I'll, give, I'll give myself uh, naked uh, every episode. And I, I have a, I'm a good storyteller. My, my girlfriend always tells me that I'm a really good storyteller. And that you, the Jesus. more I'm authentic <laughs> about something, yeah, yeah, exactly. The the more I'm authentic about something, and I put like a storyline over it about my own experience, the more engaging it is. So you're gonna learn a lot about me on the show, that's for sure. Good. Who are you, Phil? One liner. That's, that's a good question. Um, One liner. Um, I'm a Portuguese, French, Canadian. Um, oh, really? Well, parts of Portuguese, you know. So yeah, real. Um, <laughs> so that's already a complex start in life. Uh, different culture mixing in. Uh, I like to discover new things, obviously. But I'm split between enjoying the present moment and understanding uh, who we are and, and the future. And my uh, my mind runs wild sometimes too much. Too much. Um, and who who would you say you are? Who is Phil? Who is Phil? That's a good question. That's a good question. I'm still I'm still working on that. I'm still working on that training. <laughs> I think I think he's someone that doesn't stop evolving and doesn't want to stop to evolve. That's, that's the thing. Lately, I've been more and more into uh, personal health and understanding myself even more, understanding my mind and how I work. So. That, that will give you that. Wow, that's and, uh, I, and I try to think that I'm someone that you can rely on as a friend also, all of my friends. So, yeah. yeah. Well, to everyone listening, we can relate to that moment in life when you don't really know yourself, but that's just irrational trying to make a perfect thing out of you when instead in your heart and in, in, the, 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 in the center of the onion, you totally know who you are. And that's exactly what we want to bring on that show. We want to bring the hardship of shutting down your brain and just listening to your heart to really, and it's not even discover who you are, it's, it's coming back to who you are. And that's, uh, that's all about being naked and, uh, I love that you shared yourself like that because we can totally feel that you don't really know who you are and that's not bad because most people don't. And I, I mean, I'm just maybe a couple of step in front of you in the, in the, the same path. Um, and maybe, maybe even not, but I know that I'm some kind of Jesus, like you said, just a, a preacher of truth maybe or like being yourself i know that little bit about me and i'm going to discover more onto the show and thanks for sharing phil and uh, i can tell you that i know a bit who you are 
and uh, <laughs> now, and I can tell you, you're an amazing man. And uh, there's uh, not there's not a lot of people that I would tag like that. And I've met a lot of people in my life, and it's definitely related to my values. But related to my values, you're an amazing man, and we're gonna discover more of that on the show. Yeah, it's the same for me. People uh, that have nicknames have a nickname for a reason, and the nicknames are chosen also for a reason. So this is why you are called Jesus, if people understand that. <laughs> so, uh, Matt, uh, how people can find Naked? How they can find Naked? Uh, well, we're going to probably spam everywhere with our trailer because uh, we are total marketers uh, in, in the spirit. <laughs> Okay. I fucking I fucking hate marketing. But... <laughs> <laughs> <It's bad. laughs> when you were talking about no bullshit, I mean the end of a show shouldn't be like marketing because it's like it's, doesn't work. But anyway, yeah, uh, I think I think people. My my biggest dream would be that it will only be through words of word of mouth. That's that's only what I want. I'm not about, I, I, what I hate about marketing is that nowadays everyone can create anything, do, not care about if it's quality or not, and, and put and push it with a, such a good marketing, which is AKA manipulation, AKA uh, psychology uh, tricks or whatever. And, and push to people these things and what i believe is that i'm an old timer like i love technology but a lot of things really <laughs> evolve badly and what i think is that we should focus on making something that is such quality or at least that relate to people and that these people if they like it enough they will tell their, tell their friend hey man i had this experience while listening to that it was amazing tell like you should you should check that out and i won't spend a dime trying to push our podcast down your throat because i don't want that i want people to come me to come back to me and saying to me hey matt your podcast is shit you should do better and then i'll say oh fine i'm gonna do better because my my aim is to be such a quality that it speak of itself that's that's how I view it, and maybe you're different, Phil, on that. We haven't talked about it. But, uh, no, that's how I, I see I'm just it. gonna I'm just gonna say, you know, the the, the usual things. So, you know, wherever you find it, wherever it's on Spotify, Apple, Overcast. I hope you're gonna subscribe <laughs> and listen to the next episode. You can comment. <laughs> we'll try to answer you or contact us directly. I think that will be awesome. You can also find us maybe on social media. I'm not sure yet. We didn't decide on that. Uh, but if we do, we will, you will find it in the description. So that's where you can find us. Um, I hope you like this show and uh, this first episode. So thanks, Matt, for that. I totally missed the question, but that's, that's what happened. That's what happened when you ask a philosopher. I'm just going to go around and... No, that was a good answer also. Like, that, was, that was authentic. Yeah. That's perfect. That's yeah, and that's why we need both of us to balance uh, that energy, and it's gonna be awesome. I already, uh, I'm already having fun. Like every time, I'm just having fun, and that's that's what I want people to have also. So yes, thank you for speci uh, doing specification on where we can be found, and we're gonna put uh, emails and all that that jazz that you can contact us if you want. If you have uh, ideas of subject that you want us to talk about. Well, you're free anytime to reach out and uh, thank you for listening and just have fun and be yourself. Thanks everyone. <laughs>